this was an instance that we noticed some unusual logs were coming from, like network outbound activity to, to weird URLs. So the team started looking into that as the team was on the instance, like trying to pull some logs, trying to see like what's the configuration that's maybe um, affected here. Um, we noticed that some other changes were being made, like the attacker uh, is on the box. Uh, the calls are coming from inside the house, whatever. Um, so we quickly took those steps. All right, we have a process to isolate the instance. We thankfully practiced that. The next steps were what team owns this instance? Who is the development team for the the, the software that's on this instance? Uh, this was a zero day as far as we know. It was not like a released vulnerability. So just trying to communicate with the vendor, communicate with the devs who also had stuff on the instance and go through all of that was was a lot of work, but uh, thankfully those automations that we had helped speed things up. And the post-incident review, I remember we talked a lot about what went right, what went, wrong, what went wrong, but also where we got lucky, things that we didn't really take into account. That that uh, instance happened to have an overly broad uh, role attached that could have read secrets, could have gotten into S3, but the attacker wasn't looking for that. They were just looking for to download specific malware packages on the instance. So we got lucky there. If a, a targeted attacker had been trying to get into more things in AWS, they would have had a, a good time. Uh, we would have had a bad time, but it all worked out in the end, thankfully.